My name's Rebecca. I am the store manager here at the Boise store and the children's specialist. And I am going to tell you about one of my new favorite books right now. It's called Got Your Nose. Um, we got to check the undies. Oh, they're the same. That's okay. Okay. So, but the end papers are great. Do you see that? Do you see that? Okay. So this is the story about a little girl and her grandfather. And I don't know about you guys, but my grandpa always used to play the game. Got your nose, right? Well, in this case, Grandpa got her nose, but he forgot to give it back to her. And so he went walking down the street and the nose jumped out of his pocket and runs down the street. And then she doesn't have a nose and she can't breathe. She just can't breathe. So she goes, Grandma, Grandma, I, I, need, I need to get my nose, I can't breathe. And so they go chasing after the nose and the nose gets into all kinds of hijinks and he's running away down the street. Oh no, Grandpa. And they're trying to catch him. Have you seen my nose? And look, he's learning karate and he's going for ice cream and miniature golf and he's cannonballing in the pool. And then they have an idea. They're going to catch this nose. And so they trick the nose into getting onto the swing. They catch it and it goes right back onto our nose. Oh, thank goodness. But then Becky takes her grandpa's ear. Oh no. So my name is Victoria and I'm a bookseller here at Rediscovered and at Once in Future Books. And this is my one of my all-time favorite books, Chrysanthemum. I remember when I was very little, um, I was recommended, oh, I was told to read this book by one of my teachers. And, and it, because um, I absolutely hated my name, I was kind of like the little oddball in my class and so my teacher told me to read this because she says that this book will teach me how to embrace myself and how unique I am and so once I read it um, I realized that I do love myself and I actually do love my name. My name is Sharice and I'm one of the booksellers at Rediscovered Books in Boise and in Caldwell and I love The Little Mouse, The Red Ripe Strawberry and The Big Hungry bear because when you read it out loud you get to say the big hungry bear and this is an oldie but a goodie and what I love is that the little mouse gets a little bit ahead of himself the big hungry bear can smell a red ripe strawberry a mile away especially one that has just been picked the illustrations are adorable there's a great twist at the end that just makes everybody happy. You can read it over and over with lots of expression and everybody should have it for their own. My name is JC and I work at Rediscovered Books as a bookseller and I'm gonna be talking today about my favorite picture book, Bodies Are Cool by Tyler Feather. I love this picture book because it has a whole array of different people and different body types of all different sizes, people from a bunch of different backgrounds, and the illustrator does a wonderful job of showing people from all different ways and all different sizes and from different disabilities and abilities, and I think it's a good way of showing that we're all different and that's okay and that we can always find ways of loving ourselves. So this is one of my favorite picture books and I hope it finds its way into your home too. Hi, I'm Rebecca from Rediscovered Books. I'm the event coordinator. I picked What Feelings Do When No One Is Looking and I love this book for a lot of reasons. I love it for the story that it tells, but I love it because of the beautiful illustrations that are in it as it talks about feelings, like insecurity builds cages, freedom sails, and all of the feelings in here have these wonderful illustrations and they are just heartwarming and I love the way it gives language and gives a visual to how we all feel, whether we are big people or little people. Hi there, I'm Gigi. I'm a bookseller at Rediscovered Books Boise. And today I will be talking about my favorite picture book, which is I Talk Like a River by Jordan Scott and Sydney Smith. Um, the reason that I love this book is not only because it has beautiful art, which you can see inside, um, it's because it tells a story of inclusivity and how speech impediments are not 
necessarily a problem to be fixed, but one to be accepted in society. Um, it is ridiculously beautiful and I just absolutely love it. Hi, I'm Maddie, a bookseller at Rediscovered Books and Once in Future Books, and I love Clementine and the Lion by Zoe Abbott, not only because of the story, but because it was the first book read to me by one of the store owners here on my first day as a bookseller. Uh, this book reminded me why children's books are so important, which is that among the great pictures and wonderful storylines, it also talks so much about emotions and how we connect with ourselves and with others. This book in particular I enjoyed because Clementine is very independent and makes a life all for herself until one day when a lion shows up and then she has to figure out how she's going to coexist with this lion and finally they become very good friends until one day Clementine's parents come back. They had disappeared at the beginning of the book and she decides to go on with her life as it was before. And that is why I love this book.